Hey guys, so you can see in front of me on this table there are a couple of transformers. There are two big trans, three big transformers and a small one. So these transformers are from uh, UP are from UPS. This, uh, these three are from an APC UPS, and this is from a Triplite Internet UPS. One of the good things about these UPS transformers is that they have very thick windings which means they have a lot of high current capability and they can be used as to use to build uh, linear power supplies and that to high current linear power supplies and sometimes also as chargers so you can see this particular transformer has only two wires on the input side this is the primary high voltage winding it goes to 115 volts and this side is the low voltage high current secondary output so usually these most of the UPS transformers they output around 15.2 volts AC to 17 volts so it's usually between that taking a look at this particular transformer this one was also from an APC UPS this was from a rack server type UPS this is from for a 1700 VA APC UPS. This one was from a small tabletop 300 volt ampere UPS. So you can see this is a lot beefier. It has a couple of it weighs a couple of pounds also. It's quite heavy. So this is the secondary high current low voltage output. This also has around 15.6 volts. So as you can see in this particular transformer the primary side the high voltage side actually has four wires in fact a lot of ups transformers do have more than two wires so it can be a bit confusing to identify which is the high voltage side and uh, this is the another transformer i obtained from a triplite internet ups this one also has three secondary outputs so you can see this goes this is the center tab that goes to the capacitor and these two goes to the bridge rectifier so it's a full way rectifier configuration in this one it's a bit easier to understand since you can see the high voltage side has a different thickness and also i had the entire ups unit and it was easy to identify which is the hard leads 110 volt leads and this is another 15 volt output but uh, this is for smaller loads so as I mentioned before a lot of UPS transformers have like a second set of 15 volt AC windings that's along with the primary winding side usually it's a tap from that so in this one it's easier to understand but in this particular transformer it can be a bit confusing also you do not want to directly plug this into an outlet and check you may end up destroying the transformer you can also use um, a resistance method to probe the resistance and try to identify and certain ups have an option for 220 and 110 where the if it's a 110 transformer and you want to convert to 20 you need to change the connections that are in parallel to a series where you bridge these two connections in between and these two wires on the sides would become a 220 volt input but a lot of well-known brands like APC Triplite they usually manufacture transformers at least the older ones where I found this from they usually rated only for one particular region and they have only one type of input voltage that's either it's 115 volts or it's 220 volts so they have only two input wires for 110 and the remaining two wires in this would be similar to this one it will be smaller 15 volts AC in case of this particular transformer this one as you can see does not have that second 15 volt AC output with lower currents this one actually 
had another small transform as I mentioned before so this would have like 115 volts across these two leads and these two would be two separate 16 volts AC outputs so as you can see this one I have converted into a 12 volt power supply and this can produce a lot of current as you can see the this wire is very thick and I have a 50 amps bridge rectifier over here now let's take a look at the voltage output of this particular 12 volt unit so I've set it to the AC setting 200 volts so I have connected one end of the multimeter lead to the center tap over here it's going to the capacitor this one and the other lead of the multimeter I'm going to touch to the one of the other leads of the transformer so we get around 7.7 .7. And the other one should be also the same, 7.7. .7. So totally this is around 15.2 volts AC. I will show you the voltage output across this one also. The two orange color wires, it should also output around 15 volts. As you can see here, the voltage across the two orange colored wires is also 15.2 volts. So before we start the test, let's take a look at the resistance of the primary windings and then let's proceed forward, forward with the test. So first we need to change it to the resistance setting. So I have set to the 200 ohm range. So once you have set to the 200 ohm range, Take your multimeter leads and then connect one lead to one of the ends and then probe each of the connections. So the first one gives around 1.5 ohms, 1.4. The second one is slightly higher, so it's around 1.5. And the third one. is also around 1.5 1.5 1 1.6 so it's close so let's probe between these two and see what it's like this is only 0.5 what about this Also 0.6 so it looks like as you see in the, the picture right now so this you can see it's most likely these are taps from the same winding so one of these one of the pairs of the wires in this four connections would be a 15 volt which is similar to the triple light transformer which I had before for the 12 volt supply so it will be similar to that there will be two 15 volt windings so we need to identify that so one of the techniques that you can use to identify the leads properly is to get a, an ac adapter the one that outputs ac volts do not get a dc adapter if you do get a dc you may have to remove the rectifier side so look for a dc and sorry an ac adapter that can uh, output around 14 to 15 volts AC adapter so you can find those adapters usually with the uh, computer speakers and all or you can buy a transformer and connect it directly to your uh, outlet and get a normal transformer a small one so you need to get a 15 volt AC adapter or a 15 volt transformer to do this so here I already have a UPS transformer so this one can output 15 volts 15.6 volt AC across these two leads the center tap so it would be half on each side so I'm going to use these two leads to 
input 15 volts into the secondary that's usually the low voltage side of this transformer so I'm going to feed the 15 volts AC into the low voltage winding over here and this is going to get stepped up to high voltage so you need to use a multimeter and probe which pair of wire outputs 115 volts or to usually around 115 to 120 volts it will be so I will wire this up to the outlet and we'll come back so I've connected this particular transformer to the AC 110 volts input and uh, I've set the multimeter to AC voltage and let's just probe the inputs the outputs of this transformer and see so it's around 7.4 over here it's around 15.1 volts okay so now let's connect this transformer to that and then see the output across this as you can see I've connected the secondary output of this transformer to the the secondary of this big transformer one thing to be noted is that if your other transformer also has a center tap you you need to ignore the center tap so I have ignored center tap here even if you have another center tap on this transformer just ignore it connect only the other two windings that has the highest resistance and uh, now we need to change this it's already in 100 and 200 volts I think so let's start probing first one so let's see what's the voltage of uh, so that's around 113 volts so the next one is 130 which is too high and the next one is 147 it's also too high so definitely the white and the black wires are the 115 volt inputs. These two are most likely to be the 15 volts AC. Yes, 16.5. So one thing you have to be careful is when you're using this technique, the power, the maximum current of the 115 volt output would depend on the current capability of your input supply as you can see this one is around 14 gauges so this can this ups transformer so this can definitely put out easily 15 to 20 amps and with that in input the output side will also be quite powerful so the i had tried previously with uh, the other transformer that was over here that i've used as a bend to a bench 12 volt supply so when using that transformer i was able to get 115 volts maximum of 7 amps from here that's quite powerful this can easily put out at, with this small transformer 115 volts at least 2 to 3 amps so you have to be really be careful if it's a small 15 volt adapter probably the current across this side would be quite low it can definitely give you a bad shot but it's not deadly but with this kind of transformers you have to be very careful I will also show you the output using this particular bulb this is a 100 watt 130 volt Osram bulb As you can see we have 15.4 volts output. So you can see I have wired this 110 volts bulb to the two wires where we detected 114 volts. Sorry guys about the electric tape because this bulb is too old and I don't have the holder for this anymore. So I'm going to connect this to the 110 volts power supply and you can see the wire coming from there to here so you can see it's quite powerful with this transformer 
if you're using a small adapter you won't be able to light this bulb but if your input is 15 volts and it can easily supply more than 5 amps yeah it can light this bulb so you can see so this is one of the easiest methods to test a UPS transformer and this same goes for um, if you have a 220 volt transformer you will get a 220 volt output so same thing same technique this is the easiest way you can identify